At least 21 were killed when Israeli airstrikes hit Khan Yunus, after evacuation orders triggered another exodus from a city Manny had only just returned to. Organisers of Hungary's largest music festival raised the security alert following foiled terrorist attacks in Vienna. Israeli airstrikes into the southern Gaza Strip city of Khan Yunis killed at least 21 Palestinians, according to local health officials. The airstrikes came after Israeli evacuation orders triggered another exodus of Palestinians from heavily destroyed districts within the city, where Manny had only just returned to following Israel's last incursion in July. Thousands were forced to flee the city, carrying essentials like tents, backpacks and blankets. It's at least the third time Israeli forces launched a major incursion into Khan Yunis, the city where they believe Hamas's newly named top leader could be. Much of the city has been reduced to ruins. An Israeli drone hit a car in southern Lebanon, killing a Hamas official, according to state media. Over the past few months, several Hamas officials have been killed in Lebanon in airstrikes blamed on Israel. Last week, Hezbollah said Israel killed its top commander in Beirut. Organisers of SIGET, Hungary's largest music festival, have put the event on high alert following foiled terrorist attacks at Taylor Swift concerts in Vienna. Elsősorban a, a K7 külső puffer zónája az, ami terrorvédelmi eszközökkel körbe van rakva, tehát ráfutásos ö, eseményeket tudjunk ö, megakadályozni alapvetően. The Seven Day Music Festival, located on an island, is attended by 95,000 people daily. The event is particularly vulnerable to an attack due to its accessibility by boat from Budapest. Organizers decided to raise the security alert as a precaution following recent events. Egy szigethez hasonló rendezvény biztosítása óriási feladat. A biztonsági személyzet létszáma bőven ezer fő fölött van, és több tucatnyi civil ruhás járőr is vigyáz a tömegben arra, hogy ne legyen semmi probléma. The 108 hectare site is also monitored by more than 50 CCTV security cameras, but security personnel warn that no festival is totally safe from violence. Denmark's landmark wind farms are becoming a tourist attraction, with the most talked about wind farms continuing to draw attention. Initial plans to install coastal wind turbines in the North Sea face significant opposition from holiday homeowners and rental agencies. But despite ongoing criticism following the wind farm's launch, they found an additional purpose beyond generating green electricity. The site has emerged as a tourist attraction, with the local company offering boat tours that allow visitors to view the turbines up close. After days of protests due to the construction of a mini hydroelectric power plant at the source of the Una River, the Croatian state issued an announcement. A criminal complaint was filed against the official who issued the investor the location permit, saying it didn't comply with the environmental protection procedures and the construction permits are therefore illegal. Citizens and environmental activists had protested the plant's construction for days. New lava cooling equipment intended to protect the power station in southwest Iceland from lava flow in the event of another volcanic eruption has been installed and tested. Approximately the equivalent amount of water in a large swimming pool will be pumped onto the lava every hour. The area has been hit with eruptions and quakes since last November and another eruption is predicted to happen within the next two weeks. Severe flooding has forced people displaced by Sudan's civil war to relocate once again, adding further suffering to the plight of families already exhausted by conflict. More than 11,000 people, including refugees and local communities, have been impacted by the floods and heavy rains in the past two weeks, according to the UNHCR. The UNHCR provided emergency tents and relocated the families, describing the needs, including access to water, hygiene and sanitation, as huge. Forecasts predict more storms in the coming days.